Bona Village. White settlement began in the border district in 1835 and a small Bona station was formed between Tabletop and Cumbaruna stations. Bona station was absorbed in Cumbaruna station when Henry Calder sold Cumbaruna early in 1859 to John Hoare. With 1,500 cattle and about 50 horses for £12,000. Bona Village was located on the Albury Sydney Road on Mullinjandra Creek where it joined the 12 Mile Creek. The Sydney Road was called Telegraph Street the telegraph lines from Sydney to Albury being completed in 1858. A village was mapped in the 1850s and sales of surrounding allotments began in mid-1858, mostly adjoining the Mullinjandra Creek and to the east of Twelve Mile Creek. Bona never reached the size of the settlement envisaged in the town map, prepared on a traditional grid map pattern. A parish map records 26 sales in 1858, but development was very slow. A further sale of 21 two-acre town lots occurred in October 1880 at upset prices of £2 per lot. Howard Jones' book, A History of Thaguna, contains this excerpt from the Border Post Almanac, 1901. Bona, a township on the main Sydney road about 12 miles from Albury and 3 miles from Yambla Railway Station. There are two churches, Presbyterian and Roman Catholic. The Reverend Owens Mell, Church of England minister, occasionally preaches at Bona and uses the Presbyterian Church, Post and Telegraph Office, Money Order and Government Savings Bank in charge of Mrs Ford Seymour. Telephone also to Wagga and Gingelic. There is one school, the public school, Mr J Daly in charge, scholars attending 60 and Mechanics Institute. The police station is in the charge of First Class Constable Wilkinson. Two hotels, the White Horse, J Boundy and the Ivy Hotel, Alexander MacDonald. There are two general stores, Goodfellows and Milsons, and one blacksmith shop, Hicks. The justices of the peace are Mrs Jazz Mitchell, JJ Hoare and TJ Plunkett. Bona is in the centre of a splendid agricultural and pastoral district. The large and valuable estates of Messrs JJ Hoare and Jazz Mitchell adjoin the village of Bona, namely Cumbaruna and Tabletop. The main road to the Upper Murray turns off at Bona. Mails are dispatched to Wagga, Tuma, Maracket and Orney twice a week, and to Germantown and Albury daily. Scanning the waters of Lake Hume today, it's difficult to believe Bona ever existed. Bona was first flooded in 1934 when the storm which forced the Iver down on the Albury racecourse increased the water level by four feet in one day, catching many people unprepared. Eventually all the residents had to pack up and leave, seeking new sites elsewhere. Several of these evacuees and their descendants are still living in the tabletop area today. They recall most vividly the trauma of relocation. That narration by Brianna Green and Kate Johnston. The sources are Jones, Howard C. 1985, A History of Thaguna. Jones, Howard C. 1988, Bona, Village Under the Lake. And Webb, Merrick L. Tabletop, A History of the District, 1824 to 1984 compiled by the Tabletop History Committee to commemorate the school centenary in 1984.